in history. Social reason never saw a bright day. Fixing national concerns, especially poverty elevation in China under socialism with the Chinese characteristics is a history, a system of governance that transformed China in the past years. Services for those on retirement list is a prayer answered. Retirement is no longer a fear for the Chinese civil servants. In a retirement center in Beijing, activities like these exist for 60-year-old women and men. to smile and model. But how close has South Sudan ruling party has barely moved to learn the CPC secrets of governance? The cordial uh, uh, relationship uh, since independence. It was uh, uh, clearly demonstrated by the fact that uh, during the proclamation of our independence, uh, President Hu Jintao by then sent his personal envoy. In 2012, the first senior member of the CPC actually visited Juba, uh, then to, uh, to put the basis for party to party relationship between South Sudan. From our side, uh, Agana Mom, the then uh, Secretary General, uh, visited China in 2011 and signed the first uh, cooperation agreement between uh, the two parties. Uh, that was followed by Dr. An Ito, the deputy SG. Uh, in 2013, senior SPLM members uh, to China. Uh, basically, all meant to promote our relationships and seek capacity building. It is rare in Africa for another man to acknowledge achievements of another man. With the CPC, every effort is every party member's support. In one assessment provisional party meeting inside the Great Hall of the People, President Xi Jinping's achievements were a topic. Application of socialism with the Chinese characteristics in the Communist Party of China have seen this party achieving positive results in putting people first in their system. Corruption is never a pillowcase, but an embarrassment to the culprits for life. Pictures of those corrupt and caught corrupt are kept in the Achievements Museum in Beijing for school children to see and learn from it. So, uh, uh, the beginning the aim was to transform the SPLM from a, from a movement into a party, a political party that was in power, ruling. Uh, the visits were actually meant in order to build the capacity for the SPLM. including how to look into our basic documents and uh, if there are things that we could share uh, with China, and so on, that was going to be the opportunity. South Sudan's ruling party, SPLM, with the initial steps for cooperation with the CPC, stands a great chance to transform its strategies of governance for the good of the people in South Sudan. James Arusi, SSBC, Beijing, China.